The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. There are currently 657 sex offenders still locked up in Florida, even though they've completed their sentences. The law keeping them in jail indefinitely was passed in 1998 after the brutal rape and murder of nine-year-old Jimmy Rice. He was a very smart, verbal child. Named for the nine-year-old, the Jimmy Rice Act allows those whom psychologists deem still dangerous to be involuntarily committed. There's a few people at the facility who've been there ever since the beginning of the program in 1999. Uh, other people stay for varying lengths of time. Donald Smith, the man accused of killing eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle, was committed under the Jimmy Rice Act. That was 1999, but prosecutors didn't pursue permanent lockup. Now a new study of sex offenders in Florida show what many already know. Offenders like Donald Smith are incurable. After 10 years, nearly 14 percent of the sample have been rearrested for a sexual crime. Smith was arrested again in 2009 for a sex crime, but because the charge was knocked down to a misdemeanor, a risk assessment wasn't triggered. When we are making assessments solely on the offense of conviction, here's an example of where that criteria can really underestimate the risk of somebody's likelihood to commit a future violent offense. The hope of the new study is to better predict who will be dangerous in the future. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.